Good morning, my mouth breathers. I almost didn't sleep last night because I was way too excited to start using this thing, but I actually slept really good because it's not really that exciting. So we've done V2 and I don't want to call it V2.1, so we're calling it V2.69. Thanks for that in the comments, by the way, right here. So we're gonna start by getting the head tube made, putting it in place, getting the angle, and then we'll build from there. We have it, the most important piece. Also, it's really nice being able to pull the car out. There's so much more room in here now. I could do things. With your robots in here, so many activities. Slide that boy in there. Slide this boy on here. There we go, that's our 25 degree angle. There you go, just about 25 degrees. That's close enough. 64.99. And for three small payments of 64.99, you can see my butthole. Genus butthole. One small payment, like 14.99. Now I just need to figure out how high we need to have our head tube jig so that the fork still ends up in the same spot. I think I want it 17 inches to the frame going this way. So that's about where we want it. Tighten that up. Never use the right size wrench. I always use adjustable hammers. Just double check this one. Perfect. Now it's time to bust out our Rogue Fab bender here, AKA Pac-Man bender and start bending some tubes. I gotta change the die first though. My boy Dylan was using this big inch and five eighths pie circle aluminum billet thingy. We're using inch and a quarter. Can't forget that this piece, this one is going to replace that stupid little wire pointer. On second thought, I'm not doing that. I just replaced the die and the hardest part is, and the hardest part is getting those washers in between the die in there. So I'd have to pull this pin out right now to replace this piece and I don't wanna do that because I just put it in. So we're not doing that right now. Sorry, Rogue Fab. Like that. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an amazing platform with endless possibilities. And if you're like me and you love learning new things, Skillshare is the place to be. With thousands of inspiring classes, you can try your hand at a number of things, fail at a couple of things, find something that you truly love, or if you're just trying to improve on a skill or master a skill, Skillshare is the place to be. And the website is super easy to navigate, it's really well laid out, and you can go at your own pace. And I love how each class is broken down into individual videos so I can watch a video and then come back to it at a later day. And yes, I've personally been watching advanced video editing with Premiere Pro, and I already have a good understanding of how the program works because I edit all my videos, including this one, with Premiere Pro. But immediately into the first lesson, I was learning some tips and tricks that are gonna pay off tenfold in the future. So if you feel like you're missing something in your life, let's make 2022 a year of learning and growth. Let's learn a new skill, and here's how we do it. The first 1,000 of my viewers to use the code or the link down in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. You gotta make sure your pipe is clean or else you're gonna be angry like all day. And you know what, sometimes I like to clean my pipe twice just to make sure it's good. Normally I'd load it the other way, but then I wouldn't be able to just say what I just said. I did it for the memes. Now I'm probably obligated to tell you guys that if you guys want to buy pre-built trike frames, I have found a place, the Garage Vlog. They are the ones who actually had a jig and I was like, dang, I need a jig like that. So I, I designed mine kind of off theirs. This design is also kind of like theirs. So I'm not trying to steal anybody's thunder here. These are not available for purchase. The only way you can get this one is by boostedlifestyle.com order and merch. They do sell pre-built frames. So if you're interested in that, visit the garage vlog. This design is gonna work better. The two tubes going up to the head tube is gonna be much better than the one tube for stability. I didn't realize I was filming. Awkward. Oh my God, I have an idea. Um, I'm wearing a helmet because I'm gonna go to Canadian Tire, but I'm taking the scooter. That trip might've cost me 30 cents in fuel. It's just a little 50cc scooter. I don't even need a motorcycle license to drive it. We did end up getting, this is my plan anyways, some inch and a, why is that one inch and a half? That was supposed to be inch and a quarter. Oh, I hate people who work at places and the spots where things are supposed to go. Inch and a quarter, because I was gonna take this part of the clamp, weld it to our table right here, and then our bar would actually fit inside of that. And that's how we'll center everything. I should have checked them, but I just grabbed them all from the inch and a quarter spot, which 
Makes me the idiot, I guess. So we'll just have to weld these things on there. Just like that. I guess I'm going back to buy some more, another clamp, because frig. Dang, getting jiggy with it. Nah, 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 Now the part I'm dreading the most is how I'm gonna go about coping these things perfectly to that tube. Because it needs to be kind of offset on this pipe, so you can't just drill straight through the pipe with a and whatever that size is. It actually has to be, I wish I knew how to build paper templates. That would be so easy right now. So I've been doing it by hand and I've just kind of been putting it in place here and taking a little bit of material off and then marking and then just, it's kind of sketchy. I wish there was a better way to do it and there probably is, but this is the way I have to do it right now. It's working. Hey, must be the money. Kind of got them to join up there. That'll be welded up pretty good. So right now with our measurements, the front axle is gonna end up somewhere in that area right here. The current length of V2 is 30 and a half inches from the front axle to the rear axle. I think we should extend it by at least six inches. And 36 and a half ends up somewhere in this area. I think what we really need to do is get that engine out and see where it's going to fit. That wasn't so bad, was it? So our old seating position, top of the head tube to the back of the seat, 31 inches. Huh, no, that doesn't make sense, does it? Well, oh, the head tube angle is further. Okay, so we extended the front wheel. That's where we gained our wheelbase, but we didn't put any extra wheelbase behind the engine. That's the problem. Let me sort this out. So that's roughly where the front wheel is gonna go. I think I'm gonna extend it like super, super long just so we don't have any issues. I'm gonna try and make this bar like as low as possible and I might not use this seat. What do you guys think so far? I think it looks pretty, like that's not the angle the fork is gonna be at, but the bolt is roughly where the bolt is gonna be, kind of. It's gonna sit lower down. Like the wheel is probably gonna be where the, uh, the bottom is there. I really need to get better than a $50 notcher. Mounting it this way definitely does feel better though. But you can see why this notch ain't the, the greatest. That and it limits degrees. Like I could probably only do like a 40 degree cut, which is very limiting. I haven't really decided on a spot for this yet, but I know it's gonna go somewhere closer to the engine, I think. I just know we need the support in here somewhere. We're gonna take a quick break here to go to the store with the kiddos, but I'm obviously not walking, so I'm taking the cooler. Yeah, I have a cooler cart. Look at that mullet. <laughs> mullet twins. Now I think my idea is to make, oh, where's my hat? Now my idea is to make a bar like this, I think, that goes down to the bottom of these, and then, then that's where we'll join our top tube right here. Here's our little bar in the back. I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. Got a couple accessories we can put on here just to see. Um, we have a piece of one inch pipe just to give a reference. It needs to be tipped down just slightly, I think. A little bit on the high side. Okay, I've slightly modified the angle here and I think I like that much better. Now just to build that tube that goes from there up to the head tube. I think we're gonna put a bend in it for sure. All right, let's just stroke us out another one. 
And have I told you guys that every $1 spent at BoostedLifestyle.com automatically gets you one entry for this thing? I probably did, but just so you're aware. The big question is, now does it fit or am I just a silly boy? Which, I'm probably both. Dang. It do be fitting though. How's that? Alrighty, let's be a little bit sketchy here. We're gonna get up on the table, see how we fit. Oh yeah, that's the seating position right there. And then the pegs up front, a little bit higher than last time, I think will be a bit better. Yeah, the wheels are way behind me this time. Perfect. That's way better. Yeah, I put a fuel tank and a seat on there. It does look pretty good, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it off the jig, put the forks in there temporarily, and then just see how it looks with the forks, the rear wheels, and the frame. Y'all wish you had one of the, remember this? Remember this craze? <laughs> yeah, bringing it back. This and the mullet, I'm serious. It's actually not that heavy. Now this one's gonna be way more comfortable than the last one. The biggest problem always so far has been this engine. So if we pull this engine out, this will just give you an idea of how big it actually is. <laughs> this is the 212. So you can see the size difference, can't you? Like I could build this frame so much smaller with that little tiny engine in there. All right, now I don't want to mount the engine yet. Whoa, whoa. Getting sketchy. All right, homies and homets, mostly homies. We're not gonna mount the engine yet because I did order a 40 series torque converter and I really, really want it to work. Um, I may have to raise the engine a little bit, which is what I'm kind of worried about because this sits a little bit high, but I might get away with like, I don't know, trimming some stuff, maybe moving some of the throttle linkages, whatnot. But it'd be really nice to get that 40 series torque converter to work on here, and that's why I haven't mounted the engine yet. And I don't wanna mount the rear axle yet, because if I'm going to use a clutch, then I want the chain to be on the outside, but if I'm gonna use a torque converter, I want the chain to be on the inside. So that's gonna determine how I build my plates to hold these rear um, bearings. I don't know why I forgot the word for bearings there for a second. Front forks are looking good. This is actually going to drop down another quarter of an inch. So the frame is going to be a little bit low, but we want the center of gravity to be low and we want it to be stable because the last one was not stable. And this is all that's left of the first one. I don't consider this thing a failure. I consider it a learning experience. Well, we kind of failed, but it's always cool to learn new stuff. Like I, I learned lots of new techniques and stuff on this one that I transferred over to the other one. This one was a one inch frame. That one's inch and a quarter. It's basically all I had here. And I didn't want to buy more one inch tubing because I'm not sure if I'm ever going to use it again. So like I said, I'm waiting on shipping for that torque converter on this thing still. It's been a while. Canada for you. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next part. I'm going to be working on the Honda next and I'll see you in a couple days. Peace. And get that V.